I'm Nikki Fitzgerald and you're watching Adorama TV. Today we're hitting the streets and I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks of how to create some great candid photographs of interesting people in some great locations. Adorama TV presents iPhoneography with Nikki Fitzgerald. The iPhone camera is absolutely perfect for street photography and capturing those discreet and candid moments. It's small, it's unobtrusive like a big camera where it's really obvious you're taking a picture. Now, street photography is all about capturing the human condition. It's all about capturing those emotions. And it's those unguarded, those unveiled moments that make street photography, candid fo photography, much more interesting than the regular pose shot. One of the great things about using the iPhone for iPhone photography is the amount of flexibility you have on taking a picture. Now, one way you can take a picture is using the Pro Camera app. And on the Pro Camera app, all you have to do is touch the screen once it's open to take that shot. Now, the other way is to use the big button at the bottom in the middle, and that's the shoot button. Just press that and you can take a picture. In the Apple built-in camera, just like the Pro Camera app, you can use the shoot button as normal down the bottom and you can also use the physical volume buttons at the side of the iPhone to take your shot. You can use the top one or the bottom one. Now the next great thing which is absolutely fantastic is using your earbuds, your earphones that come with your camera, with your iPhone camera and you simply plug them in as you normally would when you're listening to your music and you use the volume buttons, the plus or minus buttons again, to activate your camera so it acts as a remote shutter release. Now this is brilliant because when you have your camera to the side here and you're taking a picture, you don't actually have to physically touch the camera. Your fingers stay away, which means there's less uh, blur, there's less camera shake. So you can be just walking along, minding your own business, Click the shutter button here and this will take your picture. Absolutely perfect for street candid photography and getting those discreet photographs. So this is a great day for street photography. We've got a nice light coming down. We've got the big crowd here. So I'm just going to walk into the crowd. I'm going to blend right in with my phone. I'm just going to be looking around, uh, looking at the sights, looking at my phone. I'm going to put my headphones in and I'm going to pretend to be busy with my headphones. But what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be looking out for people that interest me. It could be an interesting face, it could be an interesting dress, it could be someone on a skateboard whizzing past. Another way to get great street candid photography is this, instead of just walking around, you can actually just stay put where you are. You could be sitting here enjoying the sunshine, just waiting for the right person to come along. In fact, here comes someone right now, so let's get this. Um, I'm just busy with my phone, maybe I'm texting someone, I can hear them behind me. Noise is always a good one. So I'm just looking around now, and I'm just pointing my camera and then looking and just, just taking the photograph. It's as simple as that. The other great thing about sitting still and staying put is that you're more you're less likely to get camera blur because you're not moving your phone so much you're in a still position so it's a great way to get street candid photography okay so we've looked at lots of moving subjects and how we can get great candid shots of them but another interesting approach is to actually find someone maybe they're sitting at a cafe you know a static subject so we move around the subject and you know, maybe they're doing a repetitive action you know maybe like chopping some food or something so we can try to anticipate a really really good shot but like i said the light is important here move around see you know when there might be um, an, an intent or an emotion on someone's face they're about to buy something they're about to do something Hi, Nikki Fitzgerald here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. Another interesting approach is actually to choose a background. You know, choose something that's interesting, maybe a bit urban, or this like this fantastic background we've got here. And what we're doing is we're setting the scene and we're waiting for our figure to walk in. Basically, when they walk into your background, okay, just swing round, sort of focus the shot, get your exposure right, and then click on the click the button there and then just get them and then you've got that nice contrast 
of the people that in the dark clothes there, walking past that lovely graphic background. Now I think we've got a good shot there, let's have a look. Now my advice to any budding photographer, regardless of the camera they have, is being well prepared. A little bit of planning can really go a long way. So here are my tips. Top tip number one, well it's all about angles. The iPhone is so light, you can get it up really high and you can drop it down low to get some fantastic angles. Now the iPhone camera lens is right on the edge of the camera. So this means when you place it on the floor, the camera is really, really close to the floor, which means the angle shots you can get are absolutely superb. So this is what this little phone is about. It's creative, it's diverse, it's really flexible. So just use it and explore its potential and you can take some amazing shots with just a little bit of information. Top tip two is taking photographs with your iPhone buttons at the side, the actual physical volume button buttons. Now you can actually do this in the iPhone app only, okay, so make sure that's the one you're using. And it's great for getting shots that are just behind you discreetly. Top tip three is quick access. You can quickly access your Apple iPhone camera from the lock screen simply by pressing the home button, swiping upwards from the little camera icon on the bottom right hand corner, and you're ready to shoot, easy. Top tip four is using the Pro Camera app. This is worth a special mention because you can actually separate the exposure tool and the focus control, which gives you a lot more control over your image. And finally, while you're out there, have fun with your phone. You know, practice and practice, but experiment, find interesting angles. But at the end of the day, you know, photography is all about your own unique vision. And you'll find that just learning a little bit of knowledge, you'll find that you'll start to create photographs instead of just taking photographs. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.